Good morning, friends. Every morning there's a seven o'clock swim down here at Manly, and there's also a 6.30 swim. It's called the Drinks Express. It's run by Andrew Drinkwater, and they're a bit quicker than the rest of us. I thought I'd catch up with them this morning and also have a chat to Drinksy himself, Andrew Drinkwater. What an amazing day. <laughs> so, Drinksy, you're a local. Yep. They've yeah, been on the beaches now since 94, so how long that is. So yeah. Almost 30 years, so grew up in Newcastle. Yeah. And logged here and went, wow, so this when, is the best place on earth. I love it here. I'm not going anywhere. So, when did you come from Newcastle to here? Uh, when I was 17. So, yeah, it was good. Family moved down, came down here, and just went, wow, this will do me. So you moved here from Newcastle, then you just, what, started surfing and swimming here? Yeah, doing all that stuff. Just loved it, right? Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, found the swim here. I used to surf the power right out there. Yeah. Come in, you see all the people standing on the beach. And thought, oh, well, you know, the surf's not pumping every day, so I need to get <laughs> and join this crew, right? So So who are these nut jobs standing yeah, on the Yeah, exactly, in their pink caps. So, yeah, joined in a few times and just went, wow, this is pretty cool. What a great, what a great spot! What a great thing to do! And what a great community that builds up around this swim. So, it's an amazing body of water, an amazing group of people. Yeah. So, when was that drink? So, when did you first start swimming with the gang? So that must have been 12 or 13 years ago. I think we've been going 14 years now, the group. So, yeah, I wasn't at the early, early days, but I was reasonably early into the piece. So, and then worked out that seven o'clock was just way too late for me to start. Um, yeah, to do the swim and get to work, so I started swimming at 6.30 and a few other people sort of thought that was a good idea and so the Drinks Express was born, you know, so yeah, it's still going today. So the Drinks Express started what, 14 years ago? Oh, I don't know, yeah, it's yeah. 11, 12, 13, who knows, yeah. sometime then. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's been a great thing, great part of my life anyway. How are you, Jill? <laughs> At so, six six thirty every day. Six thirty every day. Yeah. yeah Sixty five days a year. So yeah, it's good. Weather permitting, of course. But you take Mondays off, don't you? Oh, I take Mondays off, but yeah, someone the trooper leaves on a Monday, so yeah, he's my uh, my stand in. <laughs> Give the group a break from me for the day. So <laughs> two I six days is enough, right? <laughs> so what does the group mean to you, mate? It's an incredibly important part of my life, and I'm incredibly proud and privileged to be a part of the group. Uh, it's given me a huge amount of joy, connection, friendship, all of those things which are so hard to, to define and to yeah, define in your, in your everyday life. So it makes every day a very special day. So it's incredibly important to me. Um, the group itself is yeah, always evolving, always changing. There's always new characters coming along. There's people moving on with their lives and going elsewhere. So it's an ever evolving thing. And it's a group that has incredible power to do good in the community. And I'd love to see us do more in terms of our fundraising, giving back to the community. We've got an incredible amount of goodwill, We've got an incredible amount of um, people who want to give back, I think. So whenever we do any fundraising, whatever, there's this huge amount of appreciation and, and people want to get involved. And yeah, I really, yeah, I'd love to do more with that part of the group over the next, you know, the next few years as we move forward. So, um, yeah, it's like a, there's a latent energy there that's waiting to be tapped and turned into something. So, and we need to do something, something big, with it, right? Yeah, it is. Incredible community, so yeah, we need to um, yeah, we need to harness that and try and take it somewhere. So that's the challenge, right, for the next few years. So, wish us luck on that one, Pete. <laughs> now, you got any special events coming up for fundraising? Uh, so every year, as part of the Cold Classic, we love to support the Manly Surf Club. Tomo and the Legends there do an absolutely amazing job for the community. Last year we did Drinks Express for Airplight, raised $21,000 thanks to the generosity of our community and this year we've got Drinks Express on Lifeline. Uh, so Simo, one of our swimmers, is one of the nine regional heads of Lifeline. They've been talking to us about how much pressure they're under with all of the people reaching out for help um, during the pandemic and 
and afterwards. So we're just trying to raise a few dollars to support them. They're a fantastic part of our community who give back and we'd love to do the same for them. So that's this year's uh, initial fundraising activity, so Lifeline. So bring it on, give us a hand. Yeah, raise a few dollars. Thanks, mate. All good, thanks, Pete.